extremely important to check your sections one at a time. We've numbered our sections on our manifold here for demonstration purposes. So from the monitor or from your tablet, you cycle each gate. When it's up, it's in the non-seating position. When it's down, it's in the seating position. And you physically follow each run all the way to its final destination. Eight is the far right hand side. The red hose, the left hand side is the fertilizer side. So you proceed to check all of your sections one at a time, being very careful to make sure that each section cycles up and down as it should. Section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, section six, section seven, section eight. Now all of our fertilizer sections are off. Repeat the process for your seed runs. Okay, we should check our runs. Very easy operation when you have a tablet with the Extend app. But first, got to make sure our fans are running. So with our remote, I'm going to exit the fill cal by touching the fan button to have our fans running. All of our sections are on in the seating position. We have to turn on tanks one and four that actually have products. Tank four is going into the seed side and tank one is in the fertilizer side. We've got 120 pounds of fertilizer coming out of one and coming out of four, we've got 90 pounds of oats. Okay, we should check all of our fertilizer runs and then all of our seed runs independently. So our tank one is assigned to the fertilizer boom and it's in the fertilizer run. So I'll turn the clutch on for tank one. I've got all of the sections off across the drill. Section one is the far left. Section eight is this one here. We've got a manual speed and I will turn on section eight. It's here the product coming. We can see, we can check our runs. I'll turn that off. Mine's clear. Then I'll check section seven. You'll systematically check, check all of your sections on your fertilizer. Then I'll turn it off. I'll turn off the fertilizer clutch and we'll move to the seed side of things. Now to check our seed side runs, again it's section one through eight, left through right. This is an eight quart tank. So we're gonna turn on our tank clutch for our oats in tank four that's going into the seed run. All of our sections are off currently. Our master is on. Our tank four clutch is on. We'll turn on section eight. You can hear the product starting to come. We'll check all of our runs. Once we're satisfied that all of our runs are clear, we'll turn off section eight. Then check section seven. When the metering augers are shut off, count the number of seconds that elapse until most of the product has cleared the seed boots. The interval between shutting off the augers and product coming out of the seed boots should be less than 4 seconds at the mainframe. If it is greater, the fan speed must be increased. Changes in performance may occur over time due to factors including seed treatments and high humidity. 
and then so on and so forth, making sure that all of the hoses are clear and that all of our sections line up to the appropriate switch.